And good morning. I'm Ken O'Shea around town this morning, and we're in Arlington at Station 5 right now learning all about hands-only CPR. We're going to tell you why Justin Timberlake's Rock Your Body could save a life. Details on that coming up when Good Morning Washington continues in just a moment. Julie, it's 654, and this morning, Kid O'Shea is out on the town. He is at Arlington County Fire Station 5, where crews are showing us how you can double, maybe even triple, someone's chance of survival in an emergency. All right, Kid, explain this one. Yeah, it's all about uh, that right now. We're learning about that from Lieutenant Bowen here at the Arlington uh, Fire Department. Thank you for having us out here. We're talking about that survival rate as a paramedic. Why is it so important for people to learn hands-only CPR? So when we get on scene, if nobody is doing CPR or they're too afraid to, to do anything, the person's chance of survival is severely diminished. Uh, if you do hands-only CPR, you're just pushing on the chest uh, about two, two times a second, you'll actually dramatically have improved their chance of survival two to three times. And we have some training that's going on here this morning. Show us your work. <laughs> and we hear Staying Alive by the Bee Gees in the background. We were talking about Justin Timberlake's Rock Your Body. Well, there's a reason you use that song, those songs during training. Yes, so Staying Alive will give you a beat of about two compressors a second. So if you, follow, if you go to that beat and you're thinking about that song in the background, you will be at the right compression rate to deliver a good CPR. So you just want to push hard and fast. About two compressions a second. There is that fear that you're going to hurt somebody, and that's why people sometimes stay away from it. What's your so, answer to that? So typically, most people don't push hard enough. You really need to get in the center of that chest, lock out your arms like they're doing, and you push hard. And you, if you break a rib or hear a crack, it's okay. But believe me, if breaking a rib is easy to recover from, not a broken heart. Real quickly, tell everybody how they can get involved in this. The goal is to get 4,000 people in Arlington signed up by the end of the year. You already have 500. So if you go to our website, go to the Arlington County Fire Department website, search CPR, you'll find all the resources you need to learn where you can learn CPR. We're trying to come out to your community and teach CPR. This is a, a free initiative. So if you have a, a civic association or condo association that you're a member of, we would love to come visit you, provide you this free life-saving training. Awesome. Thank you so much for teaching us Thank this you. morning. We're going to have more Good Morning Washington after 7 o'clock on News Channel 8. Time now for your 60-second express. Breaking news out of Anne Arundel County. 